What's up guys, my name is Ronnie and welcome to Dem TCG. So in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do some test hands with my water deck. Let's get into it. All right guys, let's go ahead and get straight into these test hands. The very deck I'm running right here right now is my water deck. The very same deck that I used uh, for the local tournament I vlogged a couple days ago. So if you have not seen that already, make sure you go ahead and check it out on the channel. And then also while you're there, leave a like and comment and subscribe to Dem TCG. Also, the deck list is in that video. So if you want the deck list for this very deck, go ahead and check it out. All right. So let's go ahead and go into our very first test hand for today. Probably going to do two or three test hands depending how long this video is. Okay, not a bad hand. There we go. So let's go ahead and do the combo. So it's gonna be no interruptions. So like no Ash Blossoms are gonna hit you randomly right here. So let's go ahead and go straight into it. Um, you're gonna go ahead and activate Minstrel, right? And then uh, you would pitch Dragoons as cost. And then uh, you get to look at your opponent's hand and uh, banish one of their cards until the end phase. Normally, you would either hit the hand trap inside their hand, or you hit like the the brick inside their hand, the card they don't uh, they benefit the least from. So that triggers Dragoon's effect, giving you a search for your deep sea diva. Okay. And then uh, before you even normal summon, go ahead and activate Shatana's effect to special summon it over here, uh, since you control no effect monsters. And then you would normal summon your Deep Sea Diva. Your Diva would go ahead and special summon from your deck the Neptibus. All right, and the Neptibus effect would send Dragoons to add Dragoons to your hand. And then since Dragoons was sent to the graveyard, you get a Mon Glacia. All right, so next you would link off your Neptibus for your Link Karibo. And then you would link to for your Halki Fibrax, okay? Uh, go ahead and activate Christian Halka Fibrax effect to bring out your tuner, plague spreader zombie. And then since you have five waters in your graveyard, you would special summon the Bonglacia, uh, discarding two random cards from your opponent's hand. So far, you took out three cards out of their hand. They should have two in their hand right now. So from here, you link off the Halki Fibrax into your Link Cross. Link Cross effect on summon would get you two tokens. Hope you guys like my tokens, the Staryu and the Starmie. Makes sense since it's Link Cross, right? So you're gonna activate Link Karibo's effect, to special summon him from your graveyard. And then you're going to Synchro for three to special summon your Metal Marcher. And then Metal Marcher effect will bring back your level three water tuner, which is your deep sea minstrel. Crazy board so far, right? But the combo keeps on going. So right here, you link off into your barricade board blocker, and then you link off your Shatana and your Monglacia into your Predator Plant Verte and Aconda. And then you would link these two, Metal Marcher and Board Blocker. Link three for Aurora Dawn. So Aurora Dawn's effect to bring out three tokens. And then you're gonna sync nine right here for your Trishula. Banishing one card from their hand and one card from their graveyard. So, so far you've hand looped them for four which is pretty insane. They're gonna get the Deep Sea Minstrel discard uh, at the end phase. So they're gonna open with uh, two cards plus their draw. And then from here, since you have the Arborea in hand, you go, go ahead and special summon that. And then you would banish your Roar Dawn, your Arborea and your token to fusion summon for your Trishula fusion. Then from here, since they're both level nines, you will get your true king of all calamities. And then you would go ahead and activate Predator Plant Verte and Aconda to get your Red Eyes Fusion out. And then your Red Eyes and Dark Magician to get out. 
your Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. So that's your end board. Uh, your opponent would start off with uh, two cards in their hand uh, and then whatever they draw on their draw phase. And then you have your Dragoons with two cards in hand and two King of All Calamities to really stop everything else, right? So pretty broken opening hand right there. So let's go ahead and get into round number two. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into our second uh, test hand. Hopefully we get a pretty broken hand. All right, so let's begin. Okay, not that bad. All right, so uh, first and foremost, activate your DC Minstrel to discard Dragoons. And then you look into your opponent's hand and discard one, banish it till the end phase. And then you would get Dragoon's effect. Let's go for Lapis Dragon. Okay, so Lapis Dragon's effect is going to special summon it over here uh, since it was added from deck to the hand. Next, we're going to normal summon the Deep Sea Diva and get the Minstrel, or not the Minstrel, the Neptibus, and then your Neptibus effect to send Dragoons to add Dragoons. And then Dragoon's effect in the graveyard is going to activate and you're going to get your Monglacia. Okay. Uh, so basically you have full combo from here uh, without any interruptions, of course. So you link one into Link Rebo, Link two into Halka Fibrax, Halky Fibrax to get Plague Spreader Zombie. Since you have five waters in your graveyard, you're going to summon the Monglacia and discard two from your opponent's hand. Link into your Link Cross. You special summon your two tokens. One of them becomes Link Rebo, and you sync the other one with Plague Spreader to make Metal Marcher. Metal Marcher will get you back your Minstrel. Then you link here for Board Blocker. Look here. Let's say you don't want to go the Dragoons route. Let's say that you want to go Union Carrier. How about that? And then from here, you would get your Aurora Dawn. Aurora Dawn would get you three tokens. You're going to sync two of them with your Minstrel to get your Trishula. Trishula is going to discard or banish uh, one card from your opponent's graveyard and from their hand. And then from there, you can go ahead and activate Plague Spreader Zombies effect in your graveyard by putting one card from your hand to the deck. Uh, let's go with Gamma. Sure. And then you would banish all these for a fusion summon of Trishula. You would overlay here, go to True King of All Calamities, and then you would activate Union Carrier targeting True King to get out your buster. And there you go. So they're locked out of their extra deck from here. You hand loop them for four. They will open with uh, three, so two, uh, and then the one day draw. You have your true king of all calamities for everything else. So pretty good board right here. So moving on to our test hand number three. All right, test hand number three. Let's see what we can start off with. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a good shuffle. Let your opponent cut, and then one, two, three, four, five. That's our opening hand, and let's see what we got. Okay, uh, not the greatest of hands, but we can make it work for sure. So, from here, we're going to special summon first our Shatana. Special our Shatana right there, and then from there, uh, we would actually, let's go ahead and activate one for one, uh, discarding Lapis Dragon since it's pretty dead in our hand right now to bring out our Neptibus. And then we're going to activate Neptibus effect to send Dragoons to add Dragoons. And then from there, Dragoons effect is going to activate. You're going to go ahead and get your Minstrel. And then you're going to activate your Minstrel's effect, discarding both to look at your opponent's hand, banish one till end phase. And then that's going to go ahead and trigger your Dragoon's effect. We'll go ahead and get the Atlantean Heavy Infantry. So from there, we're going to go ahead and link off into our Link Karibo. 
Since we have five waters in our graveyard, we're going to go ahead and special summon the Monglacia, taking out two more cards from their hand. And then from there, hmm, let's see, we can go normal summon meta, uh, heavy infantry, right? And then since heavy infantry, you can uh, normal summon again a sea serpent. You can summon dragoons right there. And then from here, you would link this off into Union Carrier, and then link these two off into Verte and Conda. You would target Verte and Conda with Union Carrier to go ahead and get you your Buster. Get your Buster out right there for your Anaconda, and then activate Anaconda's effect to get you out your Red Eyes Fusion, getting out your Dark Magician, and your red eyes to the graveyard to get out your dragoons. So right here, this is gonna be your end board. Your opponents locked out of their extra deck and then dragoons. Unfortunately, we don't have a card in our hand to discard. So that's quite unfortunate. We don't have a negate, um, but we do have Link Karibo to prevent any attack that your opponent might throw at you. So that's our end board and yeah, so um, with these three test hands for this water deck, it's a, like I said, it's a pretty fun and insane build. Um, you get to do so many great combos with this deck and uh, the, the main combo is probably one of the most insane in Yu-Gi-Oh that I've seen so far uh, besides like Dragon Link and all that. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to DemTCG. My name is Ronnie and I'll see you guys later. Peace.